time, everybody clap your hands. Official day, everybody. Welcome to today's vlog titled What I Got My Kids for Christmas. I have a little bit of a dilemma. I really want to sit next to a Christmas tree because, duh, it's a video called What I Got My Kids for Christmas. But this is what happens when I sit right next to the tree the lighting goes. Squish. Therefore, I can't sit that way. But that's okay. That's okay. We're gonna set at an angle and see what we can come up with. At least you get like a little, at least you get a little bit of the Christmas tree. So it's not entirely bad, right? We're gonna work with what we got. All right, welcome to today's vlog. I'm already yapping my trap when I said that I wasn't going to do that. Ugh! Okay, here we go. Are you guys crooked? Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. All right guys, so. I am Rosalind. I have a channel called Family at Heart. On my channel, I will typically just run my mouth about anything I want because it's my channel. So if you guys are just here for this video, welcome to today's vlog. We have three boys. I have a set of twins. Um, we, we have a set of twins. My husband and I have a set of twins. Identical twin boys, 10 years old. They turned 10 October 9th. And then we have a five-year-old son also and he's going to be six in January. So let's start off with our five-year-old. Being his parents around this time of the year is so fun and so fascinating because he loves Christmas, he loves Christmas trees, he loves Christmas decorations, he loves Santa Claus, he loves every single thing that you can think of that has to do with Christmas. And I really think that he inherited that from his mother. And I'm so proud of that, so proud of that. All right, so first things first, we're gonna start off with Silas. Um, I try to make things fair. Um, sometimes a toy will cost more, but I'll even it out with something else. I also try to get the kids something that they definitely need. And also, Christmas is about presents, so I try not to make it like non-fun things all the time. But there are some times that kids need certain things also. So we'll just start off with kind of like the need thing. Um, this is actually kind of a need and want. So let me explain it. We were at Costco and I found this Paw Patrol PJs. Silas doesn't need it. He kind of does because the weather's changing, but what he doesn't need is this like soft, super, super soft one that has Paw Patrol, which is his favorite character on here. It's actually a two piece. The bottom of it, or the back of it looks like this. And it's just like, it's so cozy. His favorite, favorite, favorite character is Paw Patrol. Well, I don't know which thing from Paw Patrol he likes, but he likes to watch Paw Patrol. So I thought, you know what? Why not? So, and then the other part of me getting him PJs, actually us getting him PJs, because my my husband actually goes Christmas shopping with us. The other part of him getting PJs is that he actually needs it and the weather's changing and all that stuff. So, PJs for him. And then because he needs PJs, I thought that I would pick him up another pair also. We thought we would pick him up another pair also because it, like I said, he could definitely use warmer clothes. And he loves like when his top and bottom matches. He's the cutest. So this one actually has video game controllers, which is interesting because we don't even own a video game console, but this is actually soft too. I don't know if it looks soft on camera, but I don't know what that noise was. I think my ice maker dropped some ice, but this is a two piece also. It has pants right here and they're long too. So both the bottom and the top actually have remote controls for, I guess, controller game controller oh that's what that was they're picking up leaves off our street i thought i heard something dragging but i thought it was ice maker anywho so that's like the thing that he wants slash not a toy but needs kind of thing the other thing that we got silas is now mind you these toys are i feel like prices have changed so i'm not explaining myself or justifying myself but i really feel like things are more expensive that than they've ever been this year which is fine you know like shipping and all of that stuff is just crazy lately but you guys are not here for that so back to this this is called a disco flyer it's from b toys it's a light up flying disc with launcher one light up disco disc o like d-i-s-c and then hyphen o-h and then one handle i'm so glad the handle is included on it so this be the handle and that's the this part of it and it lights up this is for so you just pull just pull and up it a goes 
and up it a glow. So I guess it glows and it spins. Uh, the age for this is 5 plus. So voila, I try to buy the kids age appropriate things. But I feel like, and this is so biased, but I feel like my kids are a little accelerated for their age. But this is an outdoor toy and all three of them can actually use it. But this one is specifically for Silas. Don't worry, the other kids have something specifically for them also. Silas absolutely loves playing bingo and actually the twins do also. So when Ryan and I were at Target, we were like, you know what, let's get a bingo game for the kids and this is actually something that we can do with them also so we have this too and this one is for ages three to six plus so again this is actually perfect for silas and um, and then you know the boys can play with them too even though it is for ages three to six and he's going to be six in january but his brothers they engage with him so much and it's it's always so much fun to just be their parents especially when they get to share their toy with each other and also they get to spend time with each other the other thing i got is a stomp rocket it's 100 percent kid powered so it's fun for one or challenge your friends and then on this one you can launch two rockets at the same time and then see whose rocket flies higher so it's four foam tipped rockets soars up to 200 feet and then the age for this one is ages five and up and so this is what this looks like in case you guys are wondering and then the other thing that I got for Silas is a two-in-one plasma and energy ball. The boys absolutely loved this when they had this a while back. Actually, it was the energy ball. They had an energy ball a while back. It wasn't that good of a quality, so it didn't last that long. And this one is not either, but just wanted them to be able to open something for Christmas. I want to say I paid like five or ten bucks for this. And this one is actually age 14 plus. But I really, really, really think that Silas is old enough to be able to value this because this is something else that um, has been in the family already. So we've already had it and I think he'll be able to value it because he knows what happens when his toys break. This is probably the most expensive thing that he's getting this year. And I don't know why, but these um, STEM toys, like the engineering toys, the build geniuses and different things like that. This toy is probably the most not age appropriate toy that I'm getting Silas. But as you guys know, the kids love to build Legos around here. So I was kind of keeping that in mind. And then honestly, one of my favorite things to do with the kids when they're doing this is to be able to sit with them and help them and guide them in the right way. And while we're doing that, they actually like engage with us and they have conversations so we get to to spend time together as a family also so i got him what is this it's a um it's a pullback car so he basically he has to uh, he has to build this and i'm sure his brothers are going to help him with it but this one has 105 pieces to it so i'm excited about that so that actually concludes what i got silas for christmas and now i'm going to show you guys what we got the twins for christmas I'm gonna do one twin at a time, I think. That's probably the best. Oh, before I go into that, I did get the boys, all three of them, something to share. So it is 200 piece of crayons. And it comes in a tub and it looks like it has some coloring stuff. Oh no, they just have like little sleeves in it. Look like they were coloring stuff in here, but they're like little containers that they go in. So that way when they're done playing with it, they can put it back where it goes. My motto in this house is everything has a home. It makes my heart so happy when things go back where they came from. Okay, so first things first for one of the twins. I don't know which twin. I feel like I added things to prop you guys up here. And then now one twin looks like he only has a sweater. So the twins, Jonah and Malachi, do not need PJs because they actually have a good amount of PJs. But at the same time, Silas doesn't and I don't know what happened. I don't think I was saving PJs from the twins for Silas. But for some reason, I was saving sweaters. So I did not get Silas sweaters because his brothers gave him two sets of sweaters each from hand-me-down. So he has a whole bunch of zip-up sweaters, but the twins do not. So I got a green one and then I got a gray one. Um, and these were actually a pretty good price at Target. They were $10 at Target, so I picked up two of those. My kids love to play outside, so I'm always, always, always thinking of things to get them for them to be able to play outside either with their friends next door or with just each other and then also sometimes Ryan and I if we can escape out there and actually play with them and for me if it's not too cold I'll go out there but this is something they already own actually they own three sets of this and our neighbors they run a daycare this is like 
not relevant to the vlog. That is clearly titled what I got my kids for Christmas, but they have three sets of this already and there are more than six kids out there. So I thought, you know what? This was a good price and it'd be a great present for the kids to be able to have because I see them playing with this so much and I'm just like, why not? So we got them this and if you guys don't know what this is, but basically it's a paddle disc game and this is like, I don't know, it's like boing, boing, boing. So when this hits it, it's just like, goes way super high in the air and the kids can play with this like you know tossing it back and forth so apparently it's lightweight and you can take it anywhere that's what the back says so we got them that if you guys have been a part of our vlogs you guys know that we went black friday shopping with our friends tyler and elsa they gave their kids to their grandparents and we gave our kids to their grandma and we went shopping so it was kind of fun actually and if you guys have not went shopping for christmas or anything with just your friends i really think that you should because because it is so fun and it's like I don't know it's like you're already in this like circle of needing to go Christmas shopping so why not just go Christmas shopping with your friends just to make it better so we had a good time and we were just you know talking crap to each other and blah 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 so it was just a good time the reason why I said that is because we picked this game up this was at Target this is called throw throw avocado and the neat thing about this game is that you can actually combine it with the throw throw burrito game and you can play throw throw avocado and throw throw burrito so what we ended up doing was and tyler and elsa's girls actually often hang out here or my boys often hang out at their house they're always playing together and what we decided to do was we got this for our kids and then they got the throw throw burrito for their kids we've never played it but we thought hmm what a cool game to be able to play together as a family when we have game nights and stuff which we often do on fridays so if you guys follow us on instagram you guys have seen us like hang out together and play games and eat and just and just have a good old time so we got um what's the right word we got a combined toy together so they can interact with their friends and stuff and be able to play with them okay so this next part is going to be challenging because i have you guys propped up here and i want to show you guys the rest of the presents all right one moment if i didn't tell you guys you probably wouldn't even have known that i switched things around so the other thing i got the other twin was and this is similar to what silas has silas is, is a pullback car i think but this one actually is a what is this it's a launcher this one is age 14 plus it's the same thing as the build genius ones so this one has 160 parts to it and the other one had 105 so it's a little bit more complicated and the age on this one is just a little bit more complicated the twins like i said earlier are 10 years old. i was gonna say 14 the twins like i said earlier are 10 years old and i think that they are completely capable of doing this so that is something that i was kind of excited to be able to pick up um these things are actually not as affordable as I thought that they would be, but that's okay. As long as they actually enjoy and are grateful for their presence, I'm all right with that. The other thing that I got one of the other twins is this plasma thing, which is the um, the plasma and the plasma ball and the energy bar together. I think this is the energy bar and the ball. So I think they'll have fun with this, and this is something that they can display in their room if they will, or they can play with it and do as they please. And I don't think this one was very expensive it was definitely less than twenty dollars so there is that okay and then the other kit oh actually this is one more thing this is the last thing that, that one of the twins got this is a glow in the dark marble run it has a it's a 50 piece set and the marbles on here they actually glow like galaxies so i'm kind of excited to see what they make of this so this is the last thing for one of the twins at the end of the day to me personally it does not matter what twin gets what toy because they all play together and even silas the other thing that i got and i hope that I couldn't find one any funner than this one. This is all types of cereal boxes, but it's actually a 1,000 piece. I think it's a 1,000 piece. Why do I think, yeah. I'm all, why do I think it's a 1,000 piece set? Well, lo and behold, it says 1,000 here. It might be backwards for you guys, but it is a 1,000 piece puzzle and they're all sorts of cereal boxes and this actually has been a request from the kids they actually really really truly wanted this so not this specific puzzle they just wanted a more complicated puzzle to be able to do so i got them this and i'm excited that they're going to be able to do this together silas actually helps also and the reason why i was like kind of settling on this but at the same time i was like it's not too bad but 
all of the kids are really good at puzzles, but I figured like Silas knows his letters. He's actually in kindergarten, which is our five-year-old. But like it says golden gram and then he can see what the next letter for golden gram is based off of the box. And if he does that, he can help his brothers find like the next piece. And I can see like the corn part, Cheerios, you know, like different things that you could actually see and maybe he can be able to help them. The rest of them didn't look as fascinating. There was like um, ding dong ones that has Twinkies and Ho-Hos. 1990s was the other one. They had a Lucky Charms one and they had Popsicle ones. But this was like the best one that I thought that would like suit all of the kids. I thought about getting an animal one, but then I was like, you know what? I feel like the animals, the different animals and stuff was more like Silas's age, who's five. And this is not for Silas. This is one of the twins present. So that's that. And then of course I did get another one of the plasma ball and the energy bar together. So all three of the kids have this. Like I said earlier in the very, very beginning and actually even in the middle when I was showing you guys the other one, this was not expensive. So I think that them having one each is completely okay. So this is the other kids. And then also, the other thing that I got, another twin, is actually a launcher. And I think the other kid has a launcher too. Where did I put it? I think I propped it up. Anyway, not relevant. But this one actually is a little bit more complicated than the one that I showed the other twins one. And this one has 200 plus pieces and it's a launcher also. But you guys can probably see um, and get the concept of it, but they have to build this. So the 200 pieces they have to put together and then the outcome of this happens. So I cannot wait to be able to spend time with them and make memories with them and be able to do this. This is what the backside of this looks like. I'm sure the boys are gonna do great being able to do this and just be able to spend time with them. Also, we are very big on game nights and as the kids are getting older, especially this specific year, we're in December right now and they turned 10 in October and I feel like as they approach 10 and as they turn 10 and as they're moving towards turning 11 they are just like turning into miniature adults and being able to play games with them and different things like that is just like a whole new world for us to be able to explore with them and it's so fun so i was thinking maybe we can play you know different games as a family and this one is called incoherent it's a family edition talk ode talk ode who's hey so taco Tuesday. So you're supposed, if you get a card, you're supposed to pronounce it and then the family is supposed to guess what it is and I think the person with the most amount of cards that guessed appropriately wins. So this is T-A-L-K and then the next word is O-W-E-D and then the next word is O-O-Z-E-D and then the last word is H-E-Y. So if you say it like fast or if you say it together and the first person that says Taco Tuesday would get this card because it's not spelled the way Taco Tuesday is spelled, but it is pronounced that way if you say it enough times or if you say it fast enough. I do not know if I explained that well. I've never played this game, but from what I get as far as just reading the box is, oh, let me just read to you and then you guys will understand. My explanation is something that I will never hype myself up about because I suck at explaining things. Each card has a combination of words on the front that looks like nonsense, but when recited out loud, they sound like the hidden phrase on the back. You know, to each its own. If you guys think I did a great job explaining it, you're welcome. If you guys think I suck at explaining it, I'm sorry. All right. So the next, almost done with this video, you guys. The next thing that I have is a, I want to say this is badminton, but I don't think it is. It's a foam tennis set, 20 by 22 inches by 12 inches, in case anybody's wondering. Uh, the company that makes this is Nerf, which is a good brand. The boys had went through this phase of Nerf guns and stuff. And I'm hoping that the twins can play with this with each other and be able to, you know, bond with each other. Because sometimes Silas isn't here. Sometimes the neighbor's kids aren't here. So hopefully they'll be able to play with this. It has two of these things that they can play with and then one ball. So let's cross our fingers that the ball does not go across the street to the school because that would be no bueno. And then last but not least, you guys, I have, you guessed it, sweaters. So there are zip-ups for the other twin to be able to play with. And then that actually wraps up our video. I think this is a good amount of stuff. 
for a set of twins that are 10 and then a little guy that's five years old i hope you guys enjoyed this video we were not able to get a hold of santa hopefully santa will be able to get back to us to see if we can borrow presents from him to be able to record it but as of right now we have no idea what the kids are getting christmas morning but the one thing that i did get back is stocking stuffers so i will be doing a separate video on stocking stuffers and i should be getting those in a couple days so look out for that video that is it for today's video you guys if you are new to us welcome if you guys enjoyed this video please leave us a comment in the comment section below and in the description i'm going to have the link to our instagram so hopefully you guys would like to join us on there hey everybody, everybody. thanks for watching thanks, thanks for watching, watching. until heart. next time we'll see you next come on, time let's go. Let's go.